an architect and uh, the, writes the stuff on the paper. They draw the building and then they um, physically create it. They build like different houses, skyscrapers and museums. When you hear the word architect, it doesn't sound that fun, but when you try it, it's actually really fun. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. The aim of the National Schools Programme is to encourage all young people to have an understanding of their built environment and the impact of excellent architecture. And this is all thanks to the generous support of funders and donors. Yeah, I think that's a good point. Yeah. The programme brings working architects from across the country into schools as ambassadors to run workshops. So far we've reached almost 18,000 children. The RIBA trains the ambassadors in how to link their skills to the curriculum, partners them with a the local school and is then on hand throughout the process to ensure the best possible learning experience for everyone. Can everybody say architecture? Architecture! Okay. In the beginning, quite often, a lot of the kids have no understanding of what architecture is. It's about getting them on that journey and then starting to get them to ask questions. Why is this tree that wide? You know, why is this building constructed like this? What have you drawn here? Okay. This really engaged them. They were taking charge, they were working together as a group. And they were really, really focused. And this gives an opportunity for every part of that child's brain, their thoughts, their thinking, their physicality, all to be put into something that's applicable and is real. So what we're going to start off by doing in this session is get you to choose a problem. And this is about designing solutions. Well, we've been looking at big areas and how they could possibly be used a lot better. What issues, what problems do you notice? People need to like, open up more youth clubs. So I wanted to be able okay. to give back and give the younger generation an opportunity to really understand what the built environment is to them. So are we thinking of doing something with the parks, maybe? I am really interested in social mobility and levelling out the inequalities in um, the built environment. Kids are, are, are taught through society that buildings and the, and the design of buildings, design of cities, is for people other than them. And so this programme is great about teaching them, helping them to learn, helping them to form an opinion. I don't think a lot of them feel like they, have, they would ever grow up to be able to transform it in any way. Being exposed to somebody who does that for a job and it's fun, it just motivates them to get more engaged with it. It's like so fun and I'm actually meeting a real architect. I think an architect is cool. We should know what's going on and like what building there are. Because then you know if you want to sort of be like an architect. It made me feel like I have a chance, an opportunity to become an architect. It helps you think about how all the different designs and all the careful thinking out of how the buildings are made, where they're, where they're placed. Even the small things, they can really change a lot of people's perspectives on the world. We have fresher minds and we're more creative. To so say you guys did an amazing job. They have come up with some very interesting ideas that I know no one in our office would necessarily have thought of. Children are just so curious and inquisitive, so the kind of questions they ask, it makes you think. It makes you a better architect. I didn't really think about buildings, but now we could design something that could help a lot of people. Everybody has a right to have a say in the creation of the built environment. We are committed to empowering the next generation with this inspiring, nationwide and free schools programme. I can build houses for homeless people. Oh, that's, that's a very nice thought. Very noble.